Welcome back to the mat and welcome back to the sanctuary. My name is Trevor Taylor and I'm glad to have you here. I brought the practice outside because, well, it's a little warm out here in the PN Dub and I thought we might bring some warmth to this 10 minute flow where we're gonna target the core, start building up some strength in the upper body, even in the lower body and expect to have like a sneaky sweat, <laughs> even though it's only gonna be 10 minutes. Uh, and also be sure to invite any props that you might need Blocks will be helpful. A strap is always nice to have if need be. And if you find it might be difficult to sit down in a position like so, then grabbing a bolster, grabbing a pillow is always helpful. So without further ado, let's get started. We'll be in child's pose. So big toes can touch, but this time around, I'm gonna bring the knees together and I'm gonna hollow out the bottom of my belly and fold here. And then my intention now is to connect to the breath, starting with the inhale down into the belly. And the exhale following from that same place. Inhale into the belly, into the chest. And let it go. Let the shoulders round, let the head drop down. Take one more breath here. Open the mouth and let it go. That's fine, tabletop. And again with just a few wrist circles going in one direction, like three or four times. And then we'll reverse. Noticing how you can put a little bit more weight, more weight in the wrist as the shoulders continue to move past them. I'm gonna go back and forth here. And it's still maintaining that connection with the breath. And then point the fingers back toward you, palms pressing down, the heel of the palm is pressing down. On that breath in, press the hands into the mat. On the exhale, press the heel down, sink the hips back. Now let's do that a few more times. Breath in, take it back. One more time. See if you can anchor the heel of the palm down and press. Uh, and then the back of the palm into the mat. And a few times as well, forward and back. Pressing all five fingers into the mat. If you've got 10, you might have more, you might have less. All right, a few rounds of cat-cow. So start dropping the belly, lift the tailbone and pull the shoulders down the back as you breathe in. On your exhale, tuck the tailbone, make your way up the spine. Last to drop is chin toward the chest. Press the hands into the mat. Uh, inhale, breath in, or oh, <laughs> drop the belly, lift the heart. That's your cow. Exhale for cat, tuck the tailbone, press the hands down. One more time here, pull the arms apart so that the chest can broaden through the middle. And exhale, take it back. Side plank, left side. Right hand finds the sky. Press your left hand, left knee into the mat and rainbow the hips a bit. Inhale, gate pose. Sit up tall, press through that left leg to lift up. Right hand finds the back leg, left hand reaches up and over and broaden the chest as you breathe in. Exhale, bring it back down. Take the right foot up, take a breath in and step it to the top. And sweep high. Side bend in your crescent lunge, exhale it out. Coming back to center, inhale. Revolve lunge, keep that length. Left hand down, right hand finds the sky. Draw the right elbow back, one more breath here. Exhale, both hands down. Slide the left knee back behind you till the right knee is on top of the ankle, then half Hanuman, half split. As you pull the right hip back, flex the toes, take a breath into the belly and the heart. Reach and fold. Come back into your lunge. 
This time, tuck the toes, lift the knee, take a breath in. Exhale, three-legged dog. Breath in, use your right glute to lift high. Right knee to right elbow. Maybe you come down to a knee, that's fine too. Take the breath in, take it back. This time, knee to nose. And one more time. This time, opposite elbow. Three-legged dog. Find your flow. Maybe you keep that back leg floating. Elbows grazing the ribs on the way down. Inhale the heart up high. Exhale, squeeze the inner thighs and lift the hips. Come back to tabletop. Side plank, second side. Uh, press through your back edge of this left foot. Then on the breath in, rise up. Take some of the weight out of this right leg. Press that left one down. Peace, oh, what's this gate pose here? Uh, one breath in. Cartwheel both hands down. Spin the bottom leg. Left leg lifts. Step to the top. Low lunge. Inhale to crescent. Sweep the hands high. Hips anchor down as the hands reach up. Head reaches up. Side bend to the left. Coming back to center on the inhale. Revolve lunge. Right hand down, left hand finds the sky. Chin toward the left shoulder. Press through your left foot, one breath here. Exhale, low lunge. Make sure this knee is on top of the ankle, otherwise scoot the knee back. Breath into the belly, into the heart, lift up. Half Hanuman. Hips square back, press the right knee down. Hips are squared. Take the halfway lift, let the heart rise. Chin tucks, exhale, fold, belly, ribs, head. Find your low lunge. Tuck the toes, lift up. Three-legged dog. Maybe you come down to that knee, or maybe you stay in your three-legged dog. On the inhale, kick away. Exhale, knee to elbow, straight ahead. Good, take it back, breath in. Knee to nose, chin to the chest, press through the hands, squeeze the core. One more breath here. Across the body, hug the knee toward the armpit. Take it back. Exhale, downward facing dog, or find your flow. Step or hop, make your way to the top. Halfway lift. Deep fold, breath out. Inhale, rise up tall. Exhale, Tadasana, hands by your side. Sweep it up, take a breath in, keep the shoulders low. Exhale, hands behind the back or at the back pockets. We'll find a back bend, press the hips forward, zip the ribs together, breath in, up the front of the body, press the feet down, maybe let the back of the head drop. Coming back to center, breath in. Maybe you interlace the hands, keep them back there and fold. One breath in, lift, lift up. Exhale, hands release down. Step a hop back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Breath in, upward facing dog. Hips low, pull the heart forward. Exhale, take it back. Let's go, we got one more flow on this. Take a breath in, press the hands down. And press the heels down, take the weight out of the hands. Soften the heart. Uh, one more breath. And let it go. Right foot floats, breath in. Side plank, breath out. Hey, you ready? Yeah, bring it back down. Take it back up. High lunge at the top of the mat. Sweep the hands high. Side bend to the right. Breath out, right knee still going toward the pinky side. Coming back to center here. 
revolve lunge, left hand down, right hand finds the sky. Can you let the hips sink down, strengthen the legs, squeeze together and lift up tall. Exhale, take it down. One breath in low lunge. Pyramid pose, breath out. You might step the foot halfway up. On your breath in, find this flat spine. Now squeeze the heel and both heels toward the middle of the body and fold there. One more breath here. Full exhale out. Uh, step to the top, forward fold. And let it go. Inhale, rise. Exhale to Dasana. One more time, sweep it up. And fold, soft bend, take the head down. Find your way to a flow. Once in downward facing dog, take two breaths. First, press into the hands, let the hips rise. Soften the heart, press the heels down as you breathe out. One more here. Into the belly, into the heart. And let it go. Left foot floats. Side plank, exhale. If you keep that leg floating, take one breath in. Exhale, three-legged dog. Find your high lunge. Find your side bend on your breath out. Coming back to center. Revolve lunge. Keep the length, press the back heel away. Right hand finds the mat, left, left hand finds the sky. Look up, find your thumb. Good, plant the hand down. Take one breath here and step it to the top. Pyramid, halfway to the top, there we go. <laughs> halfway lift here, squeeze the heels together, press the feet down and fold. Two breaths here. See what's active, see what's happening in your body. Maintain that squeezing of the feet together. Breath into the belly, into the heart. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Halfway lift. Exhale for chair. Big toes touch, squeeze the feet, squeeze the inner thighs. Make sure the knees are behind the toes so that you can see them. Then from the breath into the belly and into the heart, lift up. Hands at heart center, maybe sink down. Uh, one more breath here. Diver's pose, exhale, lift up off the heels, straighten the legs, maybe take the hands back and see if you're looking over the edge of your mat. You're holding yourself, you're not falling, right? You're always oh, stumbling, take one breath into the belly, into the heart, lift the heels, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Cactus the arms, find that back bend, hips forward, heart high, open the chest. Breath in, back to center. And to Dasana, maybe hands at heart center. Just take a few moments to breathe here. Into the belly, into the heart. When you exhale, release the shoulders away from the ears. Good. And again, squeeze the feet together when you breathe in, draw the energy up into the heart, maybe even the head lifts. When you exhale, there's some softening through the feet. Uh, take one more there. Now for me, I hope that this practice has served you in the same way that it is for me. That is, I feel energized, I feel more in my body, I feel ready and able to take on the day. 
and whatever you have going on for us this day, may you take that sense of peace, that sense of stillness that you had in the midst of that flow, or even if it's just the wisdom that you gained knowing that you are not your thoughts, your feelings, or your actions, but you are the conscious being behind them all and you get to decide what you will do with your energy. I'm glad that you took the time to honor your energy today in this way. But until then, know that the light in me honors and loves the light in you. And I'm grateful to be able to share this ancient practice, these teachings, this wisdom, and this time. Much love and namaste.